Hi everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art and today's video vlog. We are at the little house and I wanted to show you the disaster that is here. We are in my art studio and I am standing by the sliding glass doors and just thought I'd show you the room so far. So that's the cabinet that we brought over originally, the very first piece of furniture. And as you can see, tons of boxes. And believe it or not, I did already empty a lot of boxes. So you see these stacks right here of boxes? Those came over yesterday. So what I do is Brian brings over a bunch of boxes. I come over, I unpack them, and then I go back to the other house and pack some more. And the cycle continues. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far. So that's like my staging table that he originally brought in. And uh, he brought over these bookshelves for me. I had them in my other house up in my sewing room. And yeah, look, they're already almost full. The um, jelly cupboard that was in my other art studio at home on, um, in town is right here and it's open so I can show you how I organized everything and this is all my acrylic paint and some of my golden paints and then I have down at the bottom some distress paints and I have some inks that I got recently at Hobby Lobby you know when everybody went and got all those inks on sale <laughs> There's mine in there. But doesn't it look nice with all the little containers and everything is just sitting there? So I can just pull, you know, I can just slide something out. And let me close the cabinet. I'll show you how cute it is. Oh, I can't. That um, I can't close it. There's a really, really heavy box right there. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off for a second. All right, I'm back. So that's my jelly cupboard. And it's really, really old piece of furniture, and I really wanted to make sure I took it with. So, um, there, that wall at the end, that is going to be opened up, and that is how I am eventually going to get into my house. We're building an addition, probably going to start that in a month or so, and it's really a two-car garage on the other side of there with a small... Um, room I guess I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it it's either gonna be an extension of my studio maybe a bedroom maybe a TV room I haven't decided <laughs> but anyway um, that's how I'm gonna get to it so this might be temporary I'm not really sure alright now you did see the closet but we're gonna go back there and take another look see because there's plenty of more crap in here so I decided to put my paper in here on that shelf and all the shelves are full there's uh, UFOs up there unfinished objects and then down here towards the bottom is um, trims and lace and whatnot and then my fabric is across the back and I collect um, blue jeans in different colors and you see them way up in the corner there I have this um, paper making machine Oh, what the Harry is it called? Oh, it went right out of my head. Anyway, you put fabric in it with water and it pulverizes it and then it makes paper. So uh, that's going to be out in the garage and I'm saving the jeans for that. And then over here are my um, vintage textiles and yeah, and all kinds of other things. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off so I don't make you sick and turn around. All right, we are back uh, kind of where the um, sliding glass doors are a little bit to the right. I wanted to show you my tables. I love these tables. Brian got them for me. There's two of them. They're six foot each, six foot and six foot, so they butt up to each other, so making a 12-foot table. And I think they're about four foot wide. Anyway, they have these cool little openings down here. They were in um, the school district that we live in. They were in the art department. 
Anyway, um, they had a big auction oh months and months ago, and Brian loves auctions. And he went and he bought them for me for the um, art room. So yeah, they're awesome. So right now they're being um, they're a staging area for my paper. And have any of you read the Cone Marie book? And I probably butchered her name. Cone Mare. I think I just kicked my dog's bone. Anyway, uh, she tells you to get all your like things together and then organize them and then you can find a home for them. So that's what I'm doing. Today's paper. So now we're at the other end of the studio and I want to show you this amazing paper cabinet that Brian got at an auction, of course. Let's see if I can do this without falling on something, falling over something. <laughs> it's such a mess in here. All right, so there's, it's an oak paper cabinet. It is gorgeous. I have never seen one like that. I have a paper cabinet at home, but it's a steel one, and I really didn't want to use it in, in here, so I'm just going to move the Ikea cart so you can see it a little better. Um, yeah, it's kind of banged up on this side. The other side looks a little bit better, but I don't care. I just love it. So let me open one of the drawers. Look, isn't that cool? They really come out far. <laughs> like if you look down in there, see how far it goes really far back. They are wonderful. I think this is about three, at least three foot wide, three foot this way. So let's see. So now I'm standing where the gold, oops, forgive the glare, where the gold cabinet is. I'm standing right up against it. So you can see the bookshelves back there, my closet. And today's edition, okay, you see the sink? So Brian put that in this morning. It is not hooked up yet, but um, he found it, I think, through Craigslist, oh, I don't know, a year or so ago. And that's the original stand that it's sitting on. He painted it black. And you might recognize this cabinet. It was in the bathroom. I hated it in there. <laughs> just didn't fit in there right so he moved it out last night and I just love it I love it sitting there next to the sink and he found a really old um, medicine cabinet he's gonna put that above the sink I thought that would look cute alright so there's the bathroom we're not gonna go in there because right now it's uh, being uh, a storage facility for a lot of boxes <laughs> And I'm sorry that there's uh, the sun is on that. You can't really see what a cute cabinet that is. That's my chicken cabinet. That's roosters, actually, I guess. And let's see. All right, so let me go turn around <clears throat> because there's the puppy dogs. They come with me um, because I'm gone all day, and I don't want to leave them home, and they're in their crate. We call it their bed because we just had company. So this is the um, file cabinet that you would see when I would make my vlogs. It would be to my left, my back to my left. So I was um, really happy that we could use that here. And I stored, um, we're going to have to call this a studio tour, not a vlog. So I'm storing all my threads in here and it's pretty deep. Oh, check out this drawer. Like it just keeps going. <laughs> can you can you gather how long that is? It's really long. And it's got like clips at the end. So it won't, you hear that? So it won't come out and won't fall out. So I decided to put all my sewing. Yeah, I have a lot of thread. All my sewing in the drawers. All right. <laughs> I really have a lot of thread. This is the beading thread I was telling you. I sold, um or I put in my Etsy shop some beading thread, silamide, and this is all the spools that I have. So I love that thread. And let's see what's in this last one. Oh, my penny circles and some beading supplies. That's beading wire. All right, so my sewing machine is going to go right there where that plug is. It's going to go right there. And so I thought all the sewing things should be nearby. All right, let's look and see what's in the rooster cabinet so far. And these things are all subject to change. All right, not much. So down at the bottom is um, 
my knitting and crocheting hooks and needles any kind of uh, sewing needle or whatever and I think I might put some sewing supplies in here I'm not sure and then um, I have that I love that thing and um, right now I don't really know I don't think it has anything in it yes it does I know it has but it, you know what it's gonna be too high up it's um, little jars if I can get one out which I can't I can't one-handed can I yes here we go this is what's up there this stuff what is this it doesn't even say Pearl X oh I'm sorry I'm out of camera it's Pearl X so that's what's up there um some buttons and that's it guys that's you know my neighbor's house say hi and um, so that's my view kind of from the side and there we have it so yeah I think this is going to be my vlog this week <laughs> so you're not going to get to see my face but um, it's coming along it's going to take a while I am exhausted I am either here unpacking or at the other house packing and I'm really tired <laughs> so wow wow all right guys I will see you uh, next week and I hope you have a blessed day full of love and recycled art and uh, pray that I get through this um, without dropping over dead no I'm, I'm exaggerating I'm really enjoying this I have to be honest with you this is really fun I love to sort and organize so that's it we'll see you next week guys Thanks for watching.